My Knapsack by Leslie Neverett. I cannot start to talk about my cultural knapsack without mentioning the most obvious thing. I am a proud Mexican. This is something important to me because I have not always been proud of my background. I grew up in a PWI, which stands for a predominantly white institution. My entire childhood, I was surrounded with white people up until the point that I got into Illinois State. Although Illinois State is a predominantly white institution, I was able to find myself and find more appreciation towards my ethnicity and realizing what it meant to be a Mexican or a Hispanic. I was able to find this through my fraternity, Alpha Psi Lambda. This is a fraternity rather than a traditional sorority or fraternity. It is a co-ed fraternity that is a Hispanic and Latinx based. Here I was able to connect with other Hispanics and Latinx, both male and female, which is excellent, especially considering the workplace. This was a great experience for me. It was an eye-opening experience for me. It opened my eyes to see all the advantages that I was granted with, but also allowed me to enjoy other music that I would not be listening to or enjoying as of today. Another experience that really opened my eyes were my two mission trip experiences that I have gone on. I traveled with my soccer team for both of these trips. It was a really amazing and life-changing time. I was able to see firsthand how other third world countries live and how happy they were with so little. My first experience was when I went to Belize. While we were in Belize, we were able to build a bathroom for the community church. We were required to do lots of different types of labor while being there. Also, while I was there, they asked me to translate the church service from Spanish to English. This was extremely nerve wracking for me since it was the first time I have ever translated for a group of people, but also being on stage and having everyone stare at me. My second experience was when I went to Guatemala. Guatemala was the most absolute amazing and beautiful place slash experience. I was really able to connect spiritually there and I fell a lot of weight off my shoulders. While we were there, we built stoves that helped remove smoke from the houses, which often made it difficult for people living there to breathe, which also led to severe lung damage. We also had a community day. This consisted of washing kids' hair, which unfortunately, a lot of them did have license, providing families with lots of different options for clothes. We also provided different food options, such as rice, and beans. Lastly, there were hygiene products such as shampoos, and there was also glasses for people who had difficulty seeing. As I went on both of these trips, it made me realize how fortunate I really am. I used to complain about not having the newest technology or about the silliest things, but seeing how happy those kids were just to have a beat up soccer ball to play with, it really made me appreciate everything I have. Someone who has helped me shine bright and not be afraid of what others thought is my girlfriend, Jack. Jack and I met while we worked at Home Depot. Something I thought would start off as a friendship blossomed into something much more beautiful than that. She is a very caring and understanding person who is always by my side no matter how hard of a day I've had. I have always been the type of person who cares about what others think. So I was worried about what my family and others would think about me dating a woman. But she made everything okay. I learned that people accept and love me for me and not the people who I am dating. She has made me a better person, but also more understanding and a fearless. My family. My family means the world to me. Everything I do for each one of them is for them. My parents migrated from Mexico when they were 21. They crossed the border by foot, all while carrying my older sister, who was only a couple months old, on their backs. This was very brave of them to do, considering they did not know the language or even have much money. They lived in a tiny apartment in California while my dad worked in construction and my mom worked in a factory. Even though they struggled to get to where they are today, they have given both my sisters and I a wonderful life. They give us everything we want and need. My dad works extremely hard as a carpenter and contractor, while my mom stays at home and makes sure that we have home-cooked meals and our clothes are washed for us. To say I have the most amazing parents is an understatement. My older sister is a high school teacher at Thorn Fractional North, and she teaches Spanish. 
She graduated from University of Illinois Chicago, or UIC, and she also has two other masters. She was undocumented all the way until she graduated college. She was unable to go away to college or even apply to any loans and she was undocumented. And this was really, and this was before the DACA program was started. She is my idol and is someone who I really look up to. My younger sister is extremely smart. She is in many after school activities and have achieved lots of awards in high school so far. For example, this past weekend, she took third place for the egg drop contest, and then she took first place for the mouse track car in her science competition. This is the first time that East has ever had a mouse trap that traveled up to 30 feet. Although she is younger, she is someone who I strive to be more like. Her hard work and determination will pay off in the long run. Lastly, Miss Owl and Miss Rocket Ship. Both of these gifts were given to me from a student at my old place. These gifts have a lot of meaning to me since it shows that after being with them for such a small amount of time, I was able to make an impact in their lives. These gifts push me every day to continue to work hard and accomplish this degree for many other students who I hope to make an impact on. These are just some of the things that I have made me the person that I am today. I am very grateful for every moment and experience that I have been a part of as it has shaped me into becoming who I am.